Some things we take for granted in this enlightened age. Without the stuff we have today, so much was unexplained. For instance, to discover so something would have to change, we would need a new way to extend our visual range. It happened at the end of the 16th century, but it is a bit uncertain who to credit with microscopy. Some folks argue it should go to Lippershey. But a letter from a diplomat could solve the mystery. It seems that William wrote a letter to the king about Hans and Zacharias microscope in 1590. Yep, they were making microscopes back in the day, but their designs were simple. There must be a better way. And so it was approved upon by Mr. Galileo. Galileo aptly named his new device the little eye. Robert Hooke got in the game. He was an English guy. He named cells and he viewed things that he could magnify. I've got to mention one more guy before we close this book. He's the father of microscopy, Mr. Laban Hook. He examined the wee beasties he found swimming in the brook. He called them animalcules when he got that closer look. Some things we take for granted in this enlightened age. Without the stuff we have today, so much was unexplained. Working with the microscopes and knowledge they'd obtained, several guys collaborated the cell theory they explained. The first two scientists to pick up the baton were the German naturalists, Schleiden and Schwann. Schleiden found that cells make up all the plants he looked on, and Schwann agreed for cells he'd see and animals he'd work on. The cells appeared to be the things upon which life was built on. So back and forth and give and take for neither was a moron. The cell theory began and it ushered in a new dawn, a newer understanding and a bandwagon to jump on. Another contribution was given by Robert Brown. He observed the nucleus of cells and everything in motion. Finally, Rudolf Virchow had something else to tack on. Cells can only come from cells with DNA to pass on. Some things we take for granted in this enlightened age. Without the stuff we have today, so much was unexplained. It took 300 years from the microscope's invention for the pieces of the cell theory to gain public attention. When you put it all together, the cell theory is what you get. All living things are made of cells comes as the first tenet. And cells are the building blocks of all life on the planet. Finally, cells can only come from pre-existing cells. This has only set the stage for future scientists to add on knowledge, create stuff, and uncover what was missed. Not all scientists gain acceptance. Nope, some of them are dissed. While some give up, some just assist. In the end, it's the knowledge that persists.